In this video, we're going to quickly cover Opstini's Incident Command Center. The ICC provides a central place to command, control, and coordinate incident response. I'll walk you through setting up the War Room and Incident template, and then we'll do a live demo. From the service list, I'll select Order Processing so I can set up the incident template. Once I fill out the template and add relevant tags, select the conference bridge that you'd like to use. I created mine before, but you can go to the Conferences tab under Teams and create one there. I can include a stakeholder message. This message will automatically get sent to stakeholders once the incident kicks off. Now I'll select the teams that I need to be invited in order to help resolve the incident for this service. I'll also pick the stakeholders to notify. You can use the rules to determine when you want the notification to go out. Now for the fun part. Join the session by clicking into the alert and clicking on the orange quote bubble. Two things that you want to remember. Make sure that pop-ups are enabled and also give the web browser permission to access your microphone and camera. Now we're in the war room and you can see the activity of the team members have joined. We have Darren, Sean, Kevin, Amel, and Liz all in the room. There are colored bubbles next to each of their names, and those colors coordinate with the team that they belong to. So you can quickly assess which teams have joined and um, which people are in the room from those teams. The other thing down here is status updates. So I can quickly click on this and then update all of our stakeholders with a quick message. I will put uh, next update in 10 minutes. We're working on my fix. Next update will come in 10 minutes. And so this way, everything can be done directly from the war room. You don't have to move back and forth between different tools to communicate with your stakeholders, especially if you um, are in the middle of an incident. It's really more convenient to have everything done really quickly. So then you can see my status update went through and it's showing here. So the other thing that I wanted to show you is that if you have somebody in the room that's being disruptive, you can quickly dismiss them. I'm not actually going to kick Darren out, but if I highlight over here and then I just click on that gear and dismiss him, I can remove him from the room um, so that way the distraction is removed from the room as well. If as the incident goes on we realize that we need to invite more people to the room that are not originally part of it. I can add teams directly from here and I can also add individual responders. So if we decide we need a specific person's help to get to the bottom of an incident, I can add them and they can join the room and they'll get notified. You can change the way that the room looks if you want to take responder teams out because you know who's in the room and you're all ready to get started, you can do that. You can hide activity, you can hide status updates, you can also hide who's joined just to make it more personalized to you. The great thing also about this is that if I click on incident, I can see all the alerts and I can see here which ones have been acknowledged, which ones have been closed. You'll notice that all of our alerts are currently open because the incident has just started. And that concludes the demonstration of our war room. Thanks everyone from the product and marketing teams for joining and helping with this demo and have a great day. Let's now talk about reporting and analytics. Part of orchestrating incident response comes from evaluating postmortem. Ops Genie gathers analytics from past incidents that help you to evaluate how the team collaborated, where response was lacking, and what went well. You can also see how long the incident lasted, when each person joined the war room, and when they left. Having access to these analytics enable you to evaluate your team's incident response and make sure that everybody can respond faster next time. Now your ICC is all set up to tackle the next incident. The ICC is part of our enterprise plan. If you don't have the enterprise plan but want the ICC feature, contact customer success about upgrading. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel.